Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can make frame by frame animation in a program called Toon Screen, which is for the iPad. So if you have an iPad, uh, probably, probably you know why you're here. <laughs> if you don't have an iPad, still watch this because I think the program is very versatile and it's made by one developer and recently they added a second version, a new version to the program. I'm using the older one, I think, but that doesn't matter. So we're going to do this frame by frame animation. It is a ball. Yes, it's a jumping ball, but we can customize that ball in any shape or form. So let's see how we can do that. I'm not very good with this, by the way. I'm drawing on the on the tablet, on the on the iPad, and I got this recently, which is like a cap for your hip, nip, um, yes, for for your pencil, and it creates resistance because it's like um, rubber type, and it helps you draw better. At least for me, because the glass surface is not my surface. <laughs> but anyway, so you don't have to have this. So we have here two squid. Uh, from the plus button, we can make a new file. Uh, we can name this uh, obviously with the amazing name of ball jumping, maybe. Or maybe I don't know. I I, I figure out that we can make a story for the ball. The ball will be trying to jump, but because the ball ate too many hot dogs, it fell down. That happens, happens to all of us, right? So, so anyway, these are my uh, seconds that I'm going to use. Ten, uh, not 1080, 1920 by 1080 will do for me. And it will be traditional, the default workflow. Um, just for the course of this tutorial, I'm going to hit create. We're going to have our default setting set up of a tune squid. So the way we're going to do the animation, roughly, uh, we are going to bring our timeline. And on our timeline, we're going to create layers on which we're going to create extra drawings layers here. Because these layers, the drawing layers and the layers in the timeline are completely different. So uh, let's just start off by, by default, you're going to have one layer on your timeline and you can collapse the timeline if you don't have the space here control. So I'm gonna tap here, I'm gonna rename this, I'm gonna call this ground because we're gonna have a reference point for our ground. I'll tap somewhere else and I'm gonna grab the brush. I'm gonna be using 6B pencil brush um but if you want to use something else feel free whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm gonna hide this for a little bit and I'm gonna make my ground and this is the line. I'm gonna hold this and automatically do. I think this is a very uh, common thing for most of the drawing apps on the iPad where if you hold something, it will make itself into a line. And this is my ground. So I'm gonna expand this ground layer by holding, by holding, uh, <laughs> by, by holding this. I'm gonna pinch with my two fingers and I'm gonna make this. Mm, maybe two seconds at best. We, you know, it could be long enough. If I hold this again, you will see the seconds. If I pinch again, I'm going to see something like this. Anyway, this is the ground layer. We're not going to touch that. So tap again and lock your ground layer. Fantastic. So now from this little plus button in the corner on the left, we're going to make a new layer. And um, this layer will be, if I tap again, will be ball. Don't worry, we're going to add some character to the ball. It's not going to be just the ball, it's going to be your ball. This does not go well now. I will stop myself right here. It's going to be a ball character. Well, so we have a ground layer and a ball layer. First things first, we want to draw a ball. Uh, we can hide our timeline so we can have a bit more space, I guess. And from the layers, icon here, you see that on the drawing layers, we have nothing. So we can press the plus button and say, Hey, make a layer. Now, again, if I bring back the timeline, you will notice that this is a different type of layer than the one that we already created with the name ball in our timeline. So keep this in mind. There are different types of layers. So now we have where to draw. If I hide this and I'm going to make my ball. That's my ball. One of them. <laughs> That's my main character. Okay, so if I bring back the timeline, if I make this um, drawing uh, keyframe, let's, I can refer them to keyframes here, right? If I have this keyframe, we'll be, if I zoom in a little bit, you will see that this keyframe right now is like visible for one, one, two, three, three frames in total. We can expand this to four. And over here, 
I do want to duplicate this same keyframe and um, this this one and this one this will be my first keyframe this will be my last keyframe because I want to create a loop once the balls the ball uh, jumps and then lands I want to have the exact same pose that's why I'm doing it anyway from here we can just make a new drawing over here uh, and we can move this if we hold it on the keyframe that we want we can move them somewhere there um let's just expand this hold it tap hold and move it two hours later i know tap hold and move it it's a little bit i am not good at moving around in this uh, amazing app uh that's for the ipad for me so i'm gonna have a new keyframe which is completely blank the previous one is this one but from here we can start our animation i'm gonna hide my timeline and i can press on the onion skin on the onion and uh, we're gonna see our previous drawing so from here we just gonna make our very simple very simple uh, animation which, with this ball I'm not trying to be perfect right now for the purpose of this video to be fast that's a squish ball someone's asking and on the next one I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to see how many frames I'm animating on one two three I'm gonna be animating on four so next one will be over here so on four frames one drawing will be visible for four frames uh, if you don't know that so on here i want to make the ball to jump in the air so so as you can see with the colors the previous one is the red one so now the ball is in the air i'm gonna extend this again to be one i mean this one might be lesser maybe for three frames and now here i can either draw and go automatically make a keyframe uh or uh, i can just press the plus button from there but not really so right now we can just uh, copy the first keyframe to roughly have the shape as you can tell amazing shape we can use the arrow to what did i do amazing drawing skills uh i'm nervous i apologize for that i'm gonna go up around here the ball's up in the air i'm gonna bring back the timeline and up around here so we can go through the timeline and see how this is going doesn't look very precise but hey it looks amazing it's having the movement that we want so the ball is going down and up around here we're gonna make a new drawing and we're gonna squash the ball like really 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 bad like it hits the ground and maybe around here and then here have a drawing and then we're gonna go up a little bit all right two frames maybe and then another drawing here like the last one maybe so we'll disable the audience skin we're gonna enable the looping tool and we're gonna play this well, well it's flying and then it's not now there's some sort of problem here because i didn't extend this um uh, let's just play this again And I know the, right now this is very boring, but as I said, we can add some features to this circle thing. Uh, we, I'm not going to clean this up yet, but you can. Uh, but before we do that, before we make it into a circle circle, we can add some eyes. How we can add the eyes to this? Ideally, if you want to add new animations to your existing animation, you want to make a new uh, layer from the timeline so we're gonna go on the plus button again and we're gonna make a new layer double not double just tap on it and we're gonna call this face maybe and tap somewhere else and we're gonna go on the first frame and we're gonna add a drawing and this drawing will be visible for the first frame we can zoom in a little bit right and we can add two eyes and he is not impressed with his life but he will be when he tries to, when he tries to fly and obviously this drawing i want to um i will copy this and paste it at the end uh, but for now we're gonna go through the rest of the drawing so enable our audience skin so we can we can see that 
which you see roughly where the eyes are and go back again extend this next keyframe will be here and then we're gonna make the eyes open or in the similar shape as the ball is and we're gonna go through the whole frames again and on the last one which is we're gonna go to the first one here tap copy and then move your marker around here tap again and paste and i'm gonna turn this off and then we're gonna go back to the first one and we're gonna play and and this is what we have um now if you want to clean up your animation obviously you can do that because clearly this is not a proper favorite frame animation as you can tell add some characteristic z to your characters and with these eyes uh popping out and falling behind uh, now, when we do the cleanup, the way we're going to do the cleanup is go around the keyframes we created. And usually, how we can do that, we can lower the opacity, right? We can lower the opacity. And once the opacity is lower, we can create a new layer on our timeline. And on that layer, we can clean up our animation, which I'm going to show you here in the speed the, the thing. And yes, that's how you do it. Uh, anyway, um, this is how you make very simple animation in frame by frame animation in Toonsquit. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments down below. I will be happy to answer them. Uh, if you have any troubles, please do share. Um, and that's it. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.